Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. We are in the middle of the second week of the second month of the Roots of Life scenario in the World Tree campaign, and Tarnum is finally ready to assault King Targor's home castle. Still does not have nearly as many spell points on him as I would like him to have. Got a semi-decent army. Hopefully it'll be enough. And I did save just before this, so let's go ahead and assault the castle. I bet, I'm betting that's Targor himself. And of course, Targor has tactics. And it looks like his units are obligingly coming outside the walls. He does have a lot of hobgoblins. Let's see if we can... Tarko doesn't have that much magic, though. Which might help. Okay, let's... We could do one lightning bolt, or... We could do an ice bolt and a magic arrow. I think our best bet, our most efficient use of spell points might be to use the ice bolt first and then the magic arrow. That way we won't waste the last couple. Yeah, let's Oh, yeah, let's start on the Orc Chieftains. And then we will have our Thunderbirds attack the Orc Chieftains. And wipe them out. <sighs> I think I'm going to work on these hobgoblins. Oh crap, <laughs> and lose the hobgoblins. Okay, we'll have our Cyclops fire at their Cyclops. Then we'll have our Hobgoblins attack their Hobgoblins. Yeah, let's finish them off. Or try to finish them off. Oh crap. Okay, now I think we should have our behemoths attack the Thunderbirds. Twelve Hobgoblins were absolutely no threat, though. Yeah, then we'll have our Ogre Magi attack the Thunderbirds. I took out most of the remaining Thunderbirds. <laughs> Their garrison troops are decimating my poor Thunderbirds. Okay, now we should have just enough spell points left for a magic arrow on the Cyclops Kings. And then we'll have our 
our Cyclops, our Thunderbirds attack the Cyclops Kings. Ah! And that drew their Thunderbirds back, and we wiped them out. Okay. No breaches. So we'll just start bringing our melee units forward. Since they haven't obliged us by bringing any of their other melee units outside the walls yet. Okay. They do have quite a few be- yeah, Targo does have quite a few behemoths. But not too many wolf riders left. Okay. And we'll keep working on the Cyclops Kings. Yeah, they just have one left. We'll have our behemoths work on theirs. Yeah. Yeah, good. We finished off the Cyclops Kings. And then we'll continue working on their behemoths. Oh, we took out half. That's not so bad. Good! Now there's just their Ogre Magi and their few Wolf Riders left. And now it's just down to the Ogre Magi. And since they're standing on the gate, we can get in through the gate rather than trying to walk through those hog feathers. Of course, we don't have... We just have our... Cyclops Kings and our Orc Chieftains and our, our own Orc Mage I left. But, hey, this is the last battle. It's level 20. Give him Expert Archery. Blue has been vanquished. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated. Victory is yours! And that finishes the fourth of five scenarios here. So there's just one left because as a DLC campaign, campaign, this is shorter than the regular box campaigns. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Let's go... Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. Well... I was I meant to save that as scenario four. Yeah. Well, we'll rename it in a bit. So now we're to the very last scenario. Rebirth. Tournament as new barbarian allies must now defeat the necromancers to stop them from burning the world tree. And so once again we're going to reduce the difficulty level because Dustbox Mom's a wuss. We can either take some of the rarer resources or we can take a few extra Thunderbirds. I think I'm going to go with the Thunderbirds myself. If it doesn't work, we can always try the other bonus instead. With the help of the Pendant of Total Recall, Tarnum opened up his mind and revealed his darkest memories to King Targor. 
and Tarnum said, I have spent centuries trying to redeem myself for these crimes. Don't follow my example. So King Targor fell to his knees, immediately realizing that he had been wrong. But it wasn't too late to correct his mistakes. So now we've got Targor on our side. The courage of King Targor will be remembered for a long time. Alone, he went before the insane ancestor of Or and told him that his people no longer worship him. Targor, of course, hasn't returned and is presumed dead. His people have accepted my command and willingly joined the fight against the necromancers, who continue their campaign to destroy the world tree, despite the fact that Vor has abandoned them now. Okay. So we've got... Looks like we control several castles. So we've got Tarnum here. And Zubin's here. And Gernison's here. So I think our first order of business will be to, I guess, build up armies in all three places and smush them all together into one big army. And then go looking for those necromancers. Let's build a town hall here. Looks like we do also have a fort and a goblin thing and a tavern. Yeah, we'll be back in a second to hire people. Good. Yeah, we can get a capital and two city halls built. That'll certainly improve our troop recruitment. I think before I hire, I hire heroes, though, I'll want to see what armies tournaments lieutenants have. Yeah remind myself of who's outside which castle. So Tarnum is outside Drago Breach. That's Drago Breach. And that's the middle one is Crag and the last one is Sandflash. Zubin's outside Crag which Gurnison! Okay we don't have Yogg anymore? Wow! Okay, let's... We'll go ahead and hire one hero here. We can either take Vey or Krellian. And it looks like the new hires are all level 19. Okay. But uh, we're only going to hire one hero here and then one at either Zubin's or Gernison's castle. So that they both have a chance. of defeating at least weak neutral stacks in the area. Oh, look at that. Some boots. And we'll take Bay here. Oh, look! Some necromancer heroes. Would you believe Zubin is only level 15? So he's lower level 
Clint Fay here. Okay, let's save and then we'll try to take out those whites guarding the... Yeah, I can probably rename that one's save game later. Okay. Yeah, these are not the kind that drain spell points. And at least we're finally back up to full spell points here. Yeah, lightning bolt. All that did great. Yeah, we should probably live that way, although I'd kind of like to visit the rally flag and maybe pick up those boots oh skeletons no no problem okay probably magic arrow would be sufficient Yeah, we'll have people guard our few orcs here. Defend. No need to make things easy for the skeletons. I know we'll be pounding them to, to bits anyway, but I don't want to let them take out even one of my troops. There we go. Got boots of speed, which should help. And then Zubin, we will save and then have him go after those whites. Not that he is much of anything to Yeah, just going to move them to the center of my line and keep them back for now. Let's see. Yeah, he has a lot more sp spells than Tarnum does because he's been visiting the magic guilds more. So we'll just let the whites come to us. And we'll take them out one stack at a time with our magic arrows. And we'll use another magic arrow on that stack that our wolf riders can't quite reach yet. take that bottom most stack just in case our goblins could reach the other one. Okay, I'm not going to bother with another spell here. There. And then they, you can, ah, there we go.
Of course, there's always the possibility that there might be ambushes. roundabout here, although hopefully we'll get some warning that there's a chance of that before we run into them. Alright, and we'll Oh, these are the kind that drain spell points. At least some of them are. Well, we'll definitely want to take those out first. And defend. Yeah, the others are the kind that don't drain spell points. Oh, look at that. He's already cleared a path to Tartum. Uh, now, Gurnison doesn't have a gopher hero nearby, so we might just have him restrict his activities to picking up junk for now. Okay, great. And basically, we're going to get these things built up. I think we'll start by building blacksmith shops in each one because everybody except the new hires has definitely has a spell book already and at least some spells. But everybody needs an ammo card. Tell you what, Krellian, you go back and buy an ammo card. Envey, same deal. If you're going to run your ammo cart, to Zubin, then after Gernison hires those orcs, I'm going to have him run back to town and pick up his ammo cart. So, we've got a start. We've got three different castles here. So we should be able to gather up a really nice size army. And then we can go start hunting necromancers. So we will see you then.